Hi, first graders. This is our virtual art lesson for today. I'll show you how to draw Mo Willems pigeon and some other birds. And you can make up your own bird and add a background. First, we're gonna read a book all together. Are you ready? Let's go. Hi guys. I'm at home today and reading you Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus by Mo Willems. I bet loads of you have read this one before. And feel free to yell at the book. Hi, I'm the bus driver. Listen, I've got to leave for a little while, so can you watch things for me until I get back? Thanks, and remember, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. There he goes. Whoop. I thought he'd never leave. Hey, can I drive the bus? Please. I'll be careful. I'll tell you what, I'll just steer. My cousin Herb drives a bus almost every day. True story. Hmm. Vroom, vroom, vroomy, vroom, vroom. Pigeon at the wheel, woo, woo, woo. No, I never get to do anything. How do you think the pigeon's feeling right now? Hey, I've got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. I'll go first. Come on, just once around the block. I'll be your best friend. How about I give you five bucks? What's the big deal? It's just a bus. No fair. I bet your mom would let me. I have dreams, you know. Fine. Let me drive the bus. Oh man, look, his eye got all red. He's so mad. <sighs> and you know how we talked about lines? Look at that mad, mad wiggly line. I'm back. You didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? Great, thanks a lot. Uh-oh. Bye. Aw, poor pigeon. Hey. <laughs> and now he's dreaming of the next vehicle. What do you think he wants to do with this truck? You think he wants to drive it? I do too. Today, we will use simple shapes to draw a bird. Do you know what kind of bird this is? It's called a pigeon. And what kind of bird is this? It's also a pigeon. I love these books by the artist Mo Willems, who draws using really simple shapes like circles, rectangles, and others. Are you ready to draw a bird together? For this lesson, take out your art class packet and turn it to the page that says, Lesson 3, I can draw a bird. The drawing steps are there, but you can also use any piece of paper to make your picture. Let's begin. With any drawing tool you choose, start by making a big circle for the head. Next, your bird needs an eye, so let's make a smaller circle inside. Woo, nice job. Next, an even smaller circle. That's gonna be his eyeball. Next, a beak. Let's draw a triangle. You can draw a second triangle if you want him to be talking, because the pigeon in the book is always talking. Our next job is a neck. So I'm going to draw two long lines coming from the head. For the body, we're gonna need a new shape called a semicircle. That just means a half of a circle, like a boat or a moon. Let's draw the semicircle body. We start at the neck, we go across, and then make a big letter U for the bottom. Another semicircle makes a great wing. And our last job are the legs straight lines that go down, and little upside down V shapes. Oops, I almost forgot. Mo Willems makes two little lines on the neck, and we've drawn a pigeon, woohoo! Our next job, if you want to, is to color in your bird or to make him some friends. What if we tried drawing a different kind of bird, like a duck? Ducks look a lot like pigeons, but they don't have as long a neck. So I'm just gonna draw an upside down U for the head, an eye and a beak, a semicircle for the body, and maybe a wing. Oh, and feet. Gotta give your duck some feet. 
See, just using shapes and lines, you can draw pretty much anything. What about drawing a songbird like a robin? I'm gonna draw a semicircle again, but this time I'm gonna tip it a little bit. And an upside down U or a circle works great for the head. Add your beak, add your eye, add your feet. And then, ready to get fancy, let's add some tail feathers. Ooh la la! If you wanna draw a bird that's flying in the sky, you can use simple shapes too, like ovals and then a long semicircle shape for the wings, the tail feathers, throw in some feet, and we got ourselves a flying eagle with extra little feathers too. After drawing however many birds you wanna draw, think about your background. That means, where is your bird hanging out? Are they in a tree all together? Are they outside? Are they inside watching TV? Draw a couple little details. Add a speech bubble if you want. Maybe the pigeon's saying, hi. And you can color in your art using any material of your choice. Great job today, everybody. I can't wait to see your birds.